It's good to be here. Welcome, everybody. I want to just uh, uh, talk about uh, this really important bill, Senate Bill 609. As you know, this is personal. Thanks to a routine checkup, uh, my doctors and I detected the presence of prostate cancer early. And because of that early detection, I was able to treat the disease, actually on Tuesday, uh, with um, outpatient care. We all need to be aware of the options we have in dealing with the disease, and this good bill will help us in that regard. It encourages, <clears throat> this bill 609, encourages uh, our agencies and the medical profession to create greater public awareness of prostate cancer. The bill directs the Department of Health to establish a 19-member task force to investigate and make recommendations on prostate cancer. It will help medical professionals, insurers, governmental agencies, and patients to have accurate information about screening, about diagnosis, about treatment options, and it will help doctors continue to improve the standard of care for sufferers of prostate cancer. The point is that doing nothing cannot and will not be an option. Too many people, if we don't do anything, will continue to die from this disease, so we need to act sensibly and we need to act decisively. Prostate cancer has a similar incidence rate uh, and a similar mortality rate as breast cancer. In 2015, over 10,000 men were diagnosed with prostate cancer just in Pennsylvania. Almost 1,300 died in Pennsylvania that year. Prostate cancer is the most common form, in fact, of cancer affecting men. It's therefore important that we beat this disease, and we can beat it. This bill will help us figure out how to work together to do just this, and I'm really very proud to sign it. So now I'm pleased to hand this over to the author of this bill, Senator Mensch. Senator Mensch. Thank you. Thank you very much, really. Thank you, Governor, and it's a pleasure to be here this afternoon. I, um, in addition to a couple comments, I do have uh, two groups that I'd like to recognize. And bear with me while I uh, get the cheaters out. We're, we're um, joined here today by some of the members of the prostate cancer uh, coalition. And uh, I want to recognize the, the board members, if I may. Jeff Smith, who is the controller of the Carlisle Regional Medical Center, he's involved because he believes in the mission and likes the, uh, the unique opportunities that the coalition addresses. Megan McNally, who is standing here with us, uh, an active member of the coalition and works for the OSS, is it? Ambulatory Surgical? OSS. OSS, okay, thank you. Uh, Dr. Jay Raymond, he's a urologist at uh, the Hershey Medical Center, treats almost exclusively uh, prostate cancer, and he's been a great resource to us on the mission and the journey of, of this legislation. Dr. R. Scott Owens, he's a local urologist in Camp Hill, and he, he too treats many prostate cancer patients and is politically active in the Urology Patients Access to Care Initiative. Jay Snyder, he's uh, one of the original piece PPCC board members, or Pennsylvania Prostate Cancer Coalition, a frequent volunteer at events, and he's also a survivor. And I understand you're a pro tennis judge as well. That's true. All right, okay. We also have, um, well, I believe that's all the members, excuse me, that are here today. Uh, the, the governor uh, touched upon many of the points that I was, uh, would, would like to touch on, but let me just re-emphasize that the, the rate of incidence for men with prostate cancer is practically equal to women with breast cancer. And yet I go every October to the uh, Breast Cancer Coalition's uh, annual luncheon. I was fortunate enough a couple of years ago to sponsor legislation about uh, dense breasts, which is a, a prime indicator now of, of the heretofore undiagnosed uh, breast cancer. But you know, the women get a lot, of, uh, a lot of coverage on this, and men, we don't get nearly as much. And that's probably our fault, because as the governor has said, we've been kind of quiet about it. We've, we've kept it more in the closet, if you will. So there is a, an effort by the Pennsylvania Prostate Cancer Coalition saying, don't fear the finger. Uh, and so I thought today I would bring along the prop and, and um, help to promote the idea that men, we need to have a lot more advice about this. In fact, um, I, I rearranged my calendar to be here today to join the governor, and honestly, one of the appointments that I had to move was my own prostate exam. 
Uh, I go every six months. Uh, I'm at that age where it's practical for me to do that. Uh, now, in closing, let me say, I worked with the uh, members of the um, advisory committee as well. And one in particular, Dr. Um, Bacala from the Lehigh Valley uh, Hospital. And I was over with him not too long ago, and we did what I call the Mensch Report, a half-hour report that we provide on public television to our, our uh, uh, constituent area. And we talked about the PSA test and that it's not the most dependable test and that today there is much greater technology, very similar to what we found in breast cancer, that we're now able to diagnose much more the, the incidence of breast cancer through just understanding the density of the breast tissue. And we can do that very, very similar in, in using new imaging technology to be able to diagnose men's prostate issues. The NHS and the... Uh, Centers for Disease Control have both issued some guidelines that, that are asking or requiring medical people today right now to do fewer uh, tests at the early stages of prostate. And what we are beginning to see already is that we are missing the diagnosis of men with early stage prostate cancer, but we're catching it in the later stages. And I am hopeful that as we move forward with the, uh, the advisory committee and the departments, that we'll be able to refine some of that and also help to drive some of the more of the, uh, the better technology, the newer imaging technology into the marketplace so that men are able to be diagnosed uh, early and effectively and so that we can as we have done with breast cancer, begin to curb the, the death incidence with the prostate cancer. So it's my pleasure to be here and pleasure to have been a sponsor of the, uh, the measure, and thank you very much. Thank you, Senator. Now, I just want to make sure uh, I actually did sign this. This is a ceremonial signing. <laughs> uh, so this is already the law, which is why the, uh, the, the uh, uh, task force has met twice already. So come on over, and I'm going to sign ceremonially and give you the, the, then I'll come over and answer questions. All right, very good. The Senator has some questions. Yeah, it's Act 66 of 2015, if anyone's looking. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you, Thank you, 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 you Yeah, I appreciate what you're saying. I truly do. All right.